What's up, YouTube? Um, hope everyone's in high spirits. I want to wish everyone out there uh, good vibes and hope everyone's just hanging in there with all this madness going around the world with this COVID-19 stuff. But yeah, stay safe, protect yourselves, and do everything possible to um, make sure you're healthy. All right, just got a new uh, something in the mail. Let's check it out. All right, this is what I got. The Everlast G-Shock collaboration piece. And this one, cool guys, I'll go into details in a second. Uh, here's the box itself. The GBA, right? GBA 800, but let's go into details now. Let's go. Here we go guys hopefully you enjoyed that new introduction video let me know what you guys think that's a new uh um video i came up with and it's just uh testing it out so if you guys like it let me know what you think about it anyway let's get into the topic at hand today we have the everlast gba 800 the choice of champions everlast but this is what most people are excited about believe it or not the g-shock gloves but i'll get into that shortly let's get started with the watch and stuff that's more important to me here it is, the GBA 800EL-4. Dash, dash four. Four, 4 is the uh, red colorway. EL is for Everlast, 5554 module, Everlast. Econ device, greatness is within our trademarks of Everlast. <laughs> nice, cool colorway here. It's red. Uh, it's got some gold uh, metallic or um, mirror finish on the top of the box. Very nice. And then let's look at the watch. This one does have step tracker. So it's the GBA 800 module. Includes step tracker, timer, stopwatch. Very cool watch. It is Bluetooth compatible. And download the app. And you could uh, track your activity, track your calories burned, the number of steps taken, and pretty good all right here's your manual here some other little paperwork g-shock inside the box nice cool red tin with the everlast now the colorway itself was designed to resemble the red boxing gloves and the uh, boxing um sport so if you see a lot of red it's because of the red boxing gloves that's what they're trying to mimic there got the everlast logo on the top of the tin can um and then around the tin can you have the choice of champions g-shock all around there with the stripes everlast in the bottom all right open this up you have your warranty card inside there and the chris looking g-shock gba 800 Here's a tag in case you need the module number, excuse me, the uh, SKU number. GBA 800EL-4, retailed for 160. I thought it was 170, but it's 160. There's your SKU number at the bottom there, in case you need that. I think it's still available um, for retail. I think maybe even under retail, maybe not, but very cheap, inexpensive watch. Gorgeous matte red finish on this one. It's hard to tell. And the video but trust me it's very nice colorway guys so we've got the red and white um combination going throughout the watch there as you can see so again they're trying to mimic the uh gloves okay so on the front there you'll see the everlast logo on the dial step tracker bluetooth technology casio and a nice very cool clear legible display now this would have been cool in a black negative display, but I think they did a great job. A lot of people complain about ineligible um, displays, especially with step trackers. You have to remember, this is a activity or um, working out watch. So they wanted you to be able to read it without any problems. When you're running, you're walking in pace, or you're, whatever you're doing, they require some physical fitness. They want you to be able to read the watch with ease, right? They don't want you to have to struggle um, with a negative display. So I'm glad they went with a positive display, but although aesthetically wouldn't it look nice with the black buttons there to match the negative display. All right, so you have the Step Tracker Bluetooth Everlast logo on the display there on the front. Nice, cool black matte 
front around the bezel reset start mode adjust and then the buttons are black as well now these are not black metal these are appear to be plastic buttons but they're very comfortable the white nice little logo um everlast logo on the side of the band there and a nice white accent there to top it off very cool colorway guys they did a great job with this watch again this is a cool watch because um like i said this is is a uh, step tracker intended to be worn when you're running so it's got the nice cool pattern on the bottom there of the band that you see great for great grip right comfortable back plate with the uh bumpers there to protect your hand or your wrist so it doesn't feel uncomfortable flushes really well against your wrist everlast logo on the back of there of the back plate 5554 module gba 800 and with that being said also the um band keeper has that cool little grip there that adds um the lip there a little tooth to grip onto the it's hard to see i'm trying to focus there there it is to grip into the band so that it stays in place so it doesn't slip while you're wearing it. So it just gives you some added grip, some added comfort when wearing this watch. Throw it in there, push down on it, and the band clips. You see it locks kind of in place. So that's a cool little touch they did with the GB800 for a um, little protection on your wrist. Cool white colorway. Now this is one thing that I think um, although it looks nice, it's probably not the best choice because if this is a step tracker and you're going to be wearing this to run around and be active, this might get dirty really fast. <coughs> Excuse me. There goes my cough. I have cold. Um, let's look at the backlight. Um, it does have a luminescent um, hands there. You can see that on the hour and minute marker. You have nice, cool, glowing hands, which I think it's perfect once again you might be running in the dark you might want to be able to tell your time and those luminescent hands will help so let's look at the backlight here cool dual led one lights up the digital display once lights up the analog display so it gives you great great um uh, what's it called it gives you great way to see both the analog and digital time now on the backlight itself you see it says choice of champions there on the backlight, it's kind of hard to see, but it's there. Trust me, I'm a professional. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch it. If not, I'll put a picture of it. There we go. Choice of champions on the backlight. But I'll put a better picture so you guys can see that. All right, now the moment that everyone's been waiting for. Let's talk about the gloves. Now, the gloves are limited edition. They didn't come with all the watches. They don't all, all the watches don't come with the gloves. So very rare to find. And actually the watch, the gloves themselves are more expensive than the watch. People are selling these for about $500. It's, it's insane. It's crazy. But let's see what all the fuss is about. Let's go. All right, so here are the gloves. Let's unbox them. I don't think the owner ever wore these or ever opened this but maybe he did i'm not sure he uh i was very thankful when they uh offered this set to me and i was like okay cool let's do it so here it is the g-shock everlast boxing gloves now if you guys can help me i can't remember how many of these were made um i know that only i think one store um had them as a combination for the watch and boxing gloves not every other store received these i think there's only one of them please correct me if i'm wrong if you guys know out there how many of these were made or who uh, who actually uh had them with their their box with their set the everlast boxing set so you'll see on the glove itself you have here the everlast on the now these are good quality they feel authentic they feel like real boxing gloves um i won't find out have a weak chin <laughs> glass chin so i won't try this out nice everlast velcro on the wrist there to protect and grip your wrist um, power lock on the inside of the glove cool little grab little grip there too i don't know if that's normal if you get any boxes out there please let me know absolute toughness <laughs> that's awesome absolute toughness on the glove itself and you got that glorious beautiful red and white g-shock on the glove right there 
pop somebody across the chin and leave that, in, leave that indentation on their chin, right? Pop, built to last, built for tough. Is that Ford? Can't remember. So you have it guys, it's a boxing gloves, power block, Everlast G-Shock gloves, very nice. Inside of the, inside of the glove, I'm not sure if, um, let me put my hand in there. Like, oh, there we go, oh cool, look at it. Opens up really well, I think this is probably, um, yeah, it feels, it feels like, it feels like the real thing. Boink, 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 boink. I don't know. Can you guys tell me this is uh, made to scale or made to um, standard, I would say? I don't know if it is or not. All right. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoy that Everlast G-Shock Boxing Glove collaboration. Very cool set. Please, guys, let me know what you think about the video, the introduction video. I changed it up a little bit. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. A lot of people have been saying, please, you know, I'm tired with the music. I'm going to put that in the back at the end anyway, because I like that song. You know, let's do it. All right, guys, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you like my content. There's a lot more content. I try to keep up with it. I try to keep up with G-Shock news and information. So subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit the like button. Comment below. Tell me what you think of this boxing set. Have you seen it before? Did you know about it? Is uh, what do you think about the G-Shock boxing gloves? Are they um, standard edition, up to specs, as some would say? Choice of champions, guys. Till next time, this is your boy, Chicago. Holla at your boy, I'm out of here. Be safe. Peace. I'm rocking my G-Shock. 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 I'm rocking my G-Shock.